we do record regularly uh, explosions in the Baltic. Uh, so we know very well what an underwater blast looks like. And so in this case, there's no doubt this is not an earthquake. This is a blast that has been occurring in the water column or close to the bottom. Well, we heard this morning, of course, about this leak. And so when we saw that the location and our automatic locations, we have two systems running in parallel and both of them located this very close to each other. And so it was very clear that this actually you know, was a true location. And then we started looking at it and saw that this is a blast, it's a fairly sizable blast and so close to this area where the leak is occurring, which was of course very interesting. Vi har svenska uppgifter men också tagit del av uppgifter i våra kontakter med Danmark. Och utifrån dem kommer fram till, till att detta troligen rör sig om en medveten handling. Det är alltså troligen en fråga om ett sabotage. Och vi hör om skador i osett störelse. Är det grund till att tro att det här är sabotage? Vi kan i alla fall inte utelukta det. Det är för tidigt att konkludera nu, men det är... En ekstraordinær situation, det er en usædvanlig situation, og der er tale om tre læk, øh, endda med noget altså afstand imellem sig. Øh, og derfor øh, er det svært at forestille sig, at det skulle være tilfældigt, det der foregår. Men det er for tidligt at konkludere på øh, endnu, og derfor ser vi også på det her med aller, aller største alvor. Uh, the leaks are under investigation. Um, their initial reports indicating that uh, this may be the result of an attack or some kind of sabotage, but These are initial reports and we haven't confirmed that yet. But if it is confirmed, that's clearly in, in no one's interest. Um, now, my understanding is the leaks will not have a significant impact on Europe's energy resilience. Um, and what's critical is that we are working day in, day out, both on a short-term basis and a long-term basis, to address uh, energy security for, uh, for Europe and, uh, and for that matter around the world.